Cleanup crews are trying to cover every inch of sand from Goleta to Refugio. They're armed with plastic scoopers looking for tar balls, possibly linked to the contamination that's still in the ocean. News Channel 3 senior reporter John Palminteri joins us live from Goleta Beach. And John, these volunteers had to go through special training first. And some of them did that over the weekend. You know, the Department of Fish and Wildlife has an oil spill response team. When they were down here, look how clean the beach is. The tide's coming up there, and the sand's pretty white out here tonight. And that's a good sign for Goleta Beach. It really never had a big amount of oil come on shore. But the Department of Fish and Wildlife wanted to make sure all these volunteers were not only trained, they were safe. And with that, about 100 of them were certified and approved to come out. Fifth graders from Kellogg School had no problems with the water or the sand at Goleta Beach Park on their field trip, even though they were steps away from state-deployed volunteer cleanup workers looking for anything linked to the Refugio oil spills several miles away. They said everything was fine and that they were just um, gathering evidence if anything was washing up. But we haven't had any problems so far. The kids had sandy feet, but no one found oily tar. Volunteers wearing white suits, feet protection, and gloves were also here after a four-hour training course. They were collecting anything that looked like contamination. Yeah, mostly by hand. Glove, of course. Uh, never touching it with our hands alone, but, um, you know, using little, like, kitty litter scoops to get out kind of the smaller pieces and sift through the sand. Do you feel you made a difference? I do. Uh, physically, very much so. I think it's better than just protesting. They just felt, you know, having the opportunity to go up and do something and be a part of this huge response that's going on um, and being a part of solving the problem. 100 people so far have been trained. If you think about it, we are the government. So when they call and ask for help, you say, I'm available, I can do that. The Department of Fish and Wildlife says more cleanup teams will be trained and on the beaches later this week. Some volunteers from Texas and the Gulf states have also called the hotline to help. And along the coastline tonight, here's one of the seashells I just picked up, and uh, it's pretty clean. No tar or oil on it. And look at the sand here. We saw a lot of kids down here, as you saw, in the sand. And we're going to take a look here and just take a little scoop there, go down as far as we can a little bit and, and bring it up. And for the most part, look at that. So Galita Beach is doing very well tonight. And earlier today when we did come out, there were some on-the-spot restrictions on our coverage of documenting what's going on down here. And we uh, pursued that and were able to get some of the video. But the county then told us that they knew nothing about any closure or restrictions here at all. And they're going to try and coordinate that. This beach is open to the public. Reporting live from Goleta Beach, I'm John Palmentary, News Channel 3. All right.